Hello and welcome to the Hooniverse and to this video where I'm finally getting a shift on and talking more about series 11. This time I'm giving my verdict on the 13th Doctor played by Jodie Whittaker and taking a look at how her version of the Doctor is portrayed. We've had a full series of Jodie's eccentric and excitable Time Lord, so let's see what we've learned about her Doctor and what the pros and cons of this version of the iconic character are. So, the new Doctor's personality is very different while also taking pieces of the character's past personas forward to shape her own character. Firstly, the Doctor is very warm, friendly and passionate to everyone she can be, looking at the universe through new eyes, wanting it to be a kinder place. Taking forward the last words of her predecessor, played by Peter Capaldi, who stood as a figure of kindness at the end, but began by questioning his own morality. This version of the Doctor has no worries of this nature, instead seeing herself as a traveller who won't refuse the chance to help someone in need. The Doctor doesn't see herself as a hero or a battle-scarred warrior, but just as someone who's there to help, making her a pillar of hope in a universe that struggles to be a fairy tale. This hope becomes infectious to those around her, boosting the morale of those she comes across and reassuring those who need it, letting them know that their abilities are greater than they first imagined. Now this incarnation of the Doctor, like many before, is full of compassion and empathy for those she comes across and often congratulates and welcomes the good personalities she meets, with a general enthusiasm to see what they do next. It's this generally positive outlook on life and the universe as a whole that makes this Doctor such a likeable character. Much like our third incarnation, played by John Pertwee, this Doctor is also a skilled mechanic and inventor, able to make her own sonic screwdriver entirely from scrap on 21st century Earth, and a means of analysing alien substances in 1947. Even when in situations with limited supplies, this Doctor's intellect and experiences allow her to overcome whatever obstacles stand in her path. When this Doctor is placed into a life-endangering scenario, she is quick thinking, often running into danger, and making it up as she goes along, but doing so brilliantly. However, it's this fast thinking that can often lead to a lack of judgement, as this Doctor is quick to jump to conclusions, often making mistakes assuming something is a threat, when often it's not. Then again, if you've encountered as much evil as the Doctor has, it has to become hard to imagine a universe where the good outweighs the bad, as by any logical reasoning, evil should win. When this Doctor comes across evil and is required to lead the group, she isn't afraid to admit her worries, insecurities and fear, much like the fifth incarnation of the Doctor played by Peter Davison. Showing these traits makes the character relatable and seemingly human. If a character can feel pain and be unsure of the very actions they are going to take, it makes you question their actions as well. It's this uncertainty that leads the Doctor to making rash decisions and even acting selfishly. On one wonderful occasion, the Doctor wakes up unsure of her surroundings and puts the needs of herself before those around her. This is a moment of selfishness caused by the desperation of the Doctor and shows us that even though she acts in kindness, she isn't afraid to look out for herself. Then regretting the decision, the Doctor continues to learn from her mistakes and is seemingly apologetic. Apologising being something this incarnation does on a regular basis, much like her 10th incarnation played by David Tennant. The Doctor will apologise for those who have been lost, for her own mistakes, and even if those who travelled with her had to witness something that was grotesque, showing you an understanding of people's emotions and regarding them as important. Now strong emotions such as happiness and joy can easily be outweighed with the anger and sense of revenge, this is something the Doctor understands and stands against, with the idea of the use of weaponry such as guns to convey the need for revenge as a decision that is never necessary. When one of the Doctor's friends, Graham, tells the Doctor he is contemplating this decision, the Doctor makes her disapproval known, saying she would not want him travelling with her if he did this. The Doctor's friends can also prove to be the best of her. Even when the Doctor loses hope, Graham, Ryan and Yaz are there to reassure her and help each other as they face struggles in each adventure. This group becomes close enough to call each other family more than friends, the Doctor wants thought to be so lonely, instead has such a family of friends made during the character's journey showing the effects she has had on people's lives and the way they affect hers. Her friends have proved an important part of her journey and provide the Doctor with a sense of responsibility at first, is to get them home. But as the relationship develops and the Doctor's friends decide to travel with the Doctor more, they have proven that they take care of each other. Being this close to her friends allows her to easily use comedy and humour to defuse an otherwise frightening situation removing tension from a situation and even finding herself time for using jokes as distractions. These jokes aren't always part of strategy though, as this incarnation really is childishly enthusiastic and energetic, jumping about pulling the best facial expressions. It's hard to believe that this same character is over 3,000 years old. I guess you could say she's the timeless child? Anyway, this incarnation of the Doctor makes history due to being the first time the Doctor has become a woman, other than a comedy sketch called Curse of the Fate of Death. The Doctor is a character who was able to accept this new form, with Joy seeing the difference in gender to not make the largest difference. However, the people she has met so far have not always treated her as well, even trying to drunk her thinking she was a witch. I think this has changed the Doctor's outlook on life from a perspective of a woman and highlighted the unfairness present to each gender. 
I personally don't have a problem with the Doctor being portrayed as a woman, and the fact that I have to say this shows the very issues the series has tried to highlight, as each version of the Doctor is a different actor's interpretation of the iconic character, and the gender of the actor shouldn't matter, only for the performance of the actor should make the difference. Now, the Doctor's costume, designed by Ray Holman, with input from Jodie Whittaker, shows off a gender-neutral look, which features everything you'd expect for an adventuring Time Lord to wear. From walking boots to a long coat, braces, and a patterned shirt, the bright aesthetic of the clothing connotes to the Doctor's character of being bright and adventurous. As a character, the 13th incarnation of the Doctor is everything you would expect the Doctor to be. Funny, super smart, and full of hope. Helping out where she can and keeping fair play throughout the universe. Jodie Whittaker's performance has been incredible throughout as she immediately fits into the role of the Time Lord and plays it well. The energy she puts into the role is phenomenal, I admit there are certain small details of the Doctor's actions that are overly exaggerated throughout the series, such as the pointing of the use of the sonic screwdriver. This is more down to the writing and the over-reliance on the device throughout the modern era, but that's a video for another day. I admit the only other criticism I have is the fact that the character doesn't have an arc of development. For example, the Ninth Doctor recovering from his survivor's guilt, the Tenth Doctor struggled with losing people and the effects of loneliness and travelling alone. The 11th Doctor's changed from being seen as a childish fairy tale to a warrior, and the 12th with the morality of his previous decisions, debating whether or not he was a good man, and discovering kindness again. The 13th Doctor hasn't had that initial spark to set course for a more advanced piece of character development. Instead, this is something that is focused on the Doctor's friends, with Ryan growing closer to Graham and respecting him more, as Graham learning to be a role model and cope with the grief of losing Grace, and Yaz learns how to cope with her place in the universe and her roles within her own family. I think this incarnation of the Doctor does have all the great qualities that make a great incarnation of the Doctor, that like all her before her can be remembered for generations. The second series for a Doctor is often where the actor really gets a sense of the character and the character development really ramps up, so it'll be interesting to see what 2020 brings. With that said, I really like the 13th Doctor and happy to see all the anticipation and worries for Series 11 has been settled as Jodie Whittaker is the Doctor. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. What do you think of Jodie Whittaker's portrayal of the Doctor? Leave it in the comments below. And if you want to see more Series 11 content, here's a playlist you can click on with a link on the page right now. Um, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.